Legends, good morning. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Stand Together. Sunday, day something, 20 something. Jump on, give me a good morning. If you're watching a replay, let me know in the comments. Say replay. Sunday, hanging out. So glad so many of you are watching this all over the world. Um, thousands of you guys watching this right around the world, including here in Australia and getting a ton from it. Thank you so much for the amazing feedback so far from you guys. It's been amazing. Jump on, give me a good morning. Hey, who's on today? Who's on today? Who's on today? Kez, Laura, Nick, Alicia, Liza, Chris, Mariana, Laura, Summer, Mia. Oh, breaking my thing now. <laughs> Hold on. Now I can't see any comments anymore. There we go. Who else is on? Hey, Ali. Heidi, good morning, good morning. Annette, good morning. Hey, all. Pina, good morning, good morning. Welcome. Yeah, absolutely. It is Pancake Day. You guys know I'm on a, I'm a schedule today. Good morning. Hey, good to see everybody. Jump on. Hey, Boris, good to see you. Hope the new place is going well. Welcome, welcome, good morning, welcome to another Stand Together. We're hanging out, this is a Sunday special, as we know, the Sunday sessions, right? Hey, welcome to, to, to the Sunday, if you, I hope you guys have been watching all of them, I wonder who's been watching all of these, who's been watching these, all the lives, the replays, let me know. If you've been watching all of the lives, let me know, say I watched every live, let me know in the comments. If you've watched every replay, let me know all the replays. Who's watched all these, let me know. I wanna know who's been watching all these, I know that, uh, Thousands of you guys have been watching this. So it's been great to see so many of you guys watching all these. Jump on. Give me a good morning. Give me a hey. Give me a ho. Hope you guys are doing super well. And welcome to Sunday. Hey, welcome to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Hey, so I've had a few requests come in and, and ask about uh, about branding and um, and branding, not just about your individual branding, but also about your own personal branding as well, because that's a really critical thing. And, and I'll explain to you again the reason why personal branding is such a critical thing. So I thought this morning I might start sharing with you a couple of tips around that, and uh, we can we can dive a little bit into it. But really, this this personal branding really does stretch across company branding as well, right? Um, so the why a personal brand? People ask me all the time, why a personal brand, right? I, I, I'm i a big believer in having if everyone building a personal brand. doesn't matter who you are, what you do, because at, at the end of the day, you are here to build an empire. Now, when you build an empire, there are going to be times where you're going to be divesting out of those companies that you own, right? So I, I sold a company, um, uh, my my shares, in, a, in a, my private equity shares in, in a company, um, I had the opportunity to be able to do that because it was acquired. So it was, it, I bought into it. It was acquired by a larger firm and I can make 17% of my money in uh, two months. So I said, sure. I wasn't really that super excited by the project. The firm that bought it, um, they're very, very good uh, at, um, at basically taking over brands uh, and then shutting those brands down so that they're squashing competition. It's a strategy that a lot of people use. Uh, so I thought this is the time. Uh, but my point is that that I was in that investment for two months, and the only thing I made from that investment really was money, right? I, I, I made it an ROI on my investment. And that's the same thing with your business, the same thing with any business. At some point, you're either going to shut it down, you're going to um, sell it, you're going to do something else. So the idea of building a personal brand is think about it like this. It's equity that follows you everywhere you go, right? Your personal brand is equity that follows you everywhere that you go. It is something that appreciates, right? Goes up in value every single day, every single week, every single month that you choose to do something about it, right? So this idea of this personal brand is something that really does go up in value, right? And the, in addition to that, if you really want to play this empire building game, my, my, my advice to you around this is to nail the personal brand because the more you get this personal brand right, the, the easier it is. Like, I'll, I'll tell you, the, 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 the bigger I've grown my personal brand, the more I've been able to pick up the phone and call people that are you know somewhat unaccessible or reach out to them and say, hey, 
you know, um, let's have a chat, let's connect, let's communicate, uh, let's work together. Um, I'm, I'm interested in your business. Um, I'm interested in being an investor, whatever it may be. I'm you, you, the, the, the longer it's gone at the beginning, it was really hard being, being, being someone who's not known by anybody. It became more challenging, but I'm telling you that that will compound and get better and better and better as you go. So my encouragement here is overall is that your brand is with you for the rest of your life. Look after it, take care of it. Um, and, and make sure that you are, you are growing it in the way that you want to, to start serving, to start serving you, but see that it, see it really as a separate business. Right? See it really as a separate business. Now, whether you go and create a separate business from it and you go and, you know, uh, you know, you go and be a speaker or, or, or a coach or a consultant or, a, you know, some, you know, you know, info marketer or whatever it may be, that's one thing you could do. But even if you don't, you grow a brand, but you pick up a phone and say, Hey, I want to work with you. I'm Richard Branson. People are going to go, Oh, okay. Yeah. I want to work with you too. You know, so it's it's it it doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be something that you have uh, any kind of commercial gain from it. it can just be that, that it, it, it immediately anyway it can just be for the purposes of okay I want to grow my brand so it's going to make it easier for me as I start to build more and more and more companies right that's what this thing's about and if you have want to have one company with one income stream right that's it's it's not a challenging process one company one income stream it really isn't a challenging process right you get there. You know, it's, it's, you know, but if you're wanting to have, I mean, I, I, I focus on a couple of dozen income streams per business. Now, not all of them can get to that, but if you can focus on, on driving as many and creating as many in every one of your businesses you have, you've got an empire, you've got a profitable empire, which is one of the biggest differences. So we're talking really about personal brand today. Yeah. So you got to have one to the extent that you go of your personal brand, totally up to you, right? And and one thing I would say on, on having a personal brand is you've got to really choose what's going to serve you, but you've also got to work on what's going to give you an ROI. So if you like, well, I fucking hate Facebook, and I'm not going to go and post stuff on there, and I'm not going to write down my thoughts, and I can't be bothered. Well, then you know what? You're not going to be have a personal brand. That's just as simple as that. You're going to have to do some things that, that, that you maybe you don't want to do uh, in terms of um, uh, using certain content, right? I'm saying like, you know, Instagram, Facebook, things like that. How often you do that and what you speak about, that's totally up to you, right? You can choose that. You don't have to create, you have to, you have to create whatever really is, is true for you. But even if it's just making yourself available for podcasts, going out there and, you know, if you, if you do have a little bit of, um, money around, uh, and you can invest into marketing, maybe looking at PR around yourself and around your company too, and trying to get some more PR around you. So my point is this, your personal brand is with you forever, right? It's with you forever. Everything else that you have will come and go. I've never met anybody. Well, I've met a couple of them, but exceptions are going to prove the rule. I've met only a handful in my life that are in a business that they've been in from the start and they're going to die in that business, right? There's only been a few that I've ever met that are like that. But you've got to grow your brand outside of that. And your brand is powerful. So a couple of things to do around growing your brand, right? A couple of a couple of things you can do around growing your brand. Let's start with some basics, right? When I teach this, I teach this thing called the ART of branding. And it can go across across personal it can go across company branding, but I normally speak about it around personal branding because it's just easier to focus on that for you guys to begin with. So the 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 base crux of it is the first A, right? That stands for authority. And What that means is that you need to focus on building your authority in your marketplace. So if basics, if you don't have your own social media, then get one, right? Uh, I, I clearly, I have my own socials, uh, and, and they grow substantially every month because I do lots of content. I speak to lots of people. I put myself out there more. I spend money on marketing, uh, PR, all that kind of stuff. And you reap the rewards as you, as you grow for benefit from it. My advice for you around this though is, it's really hard to try and have um, to try and have a personal brand while you're also trying to use your social media for your own, you know, kind of catching up with family and friends. What I would be saying is use this, right? Use this as a, as a medium to be able to separate you from everybody else and create yourself as a brand. And one of the ways that is be on authority. I'll put it to you this way. 
Every single personal brand has to have a website. So if you don't have a website, you need to go get yourself a website, right? So go register yourself a website. Get a basic website done, right? And if you need help, uh, I, I can connect you with a place that does, you know, one page kind of uh, personal brand website uh, sites, which are great. They're not, you know, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars. They're good. Um, or if you want to really have at the thing and really create um, something off the back of this and really commercialize it, you might have to look at getting a, a proper built. Uh, site around it, but you need to, you need to have a you need to have your own website. It's just, just you just have to, right? Then you've got to get the right stuff on it, right? You've got to have a blog on there, something to be able to give out ideas of how you're different. Get yourself a photo shoot um, and all those some basic stuff you can get. If you want to do a deeper, then there's a whole bunch of stuff you need to get done around your brand, but that takes three days to do that. I know because I do it every year with uh, with about um, eighty of my students, but. To begin with, website, to begin with, having some base social media is going to be critical for you as well. Uh, and, and starting to work on your authority, starting to work on your expertise, because A stands for authority and it stands for expertise. So I mean, you can, you can interview people to grow your authority. You can, you can, uh, you can, uh, do, uh, you can interview them either, you know, on things like this. You can, you can do podcasts. You can call them up and, and write an article, a blog post and, you know, you know, get a, um, you know, get a couple of, you know, get a Q and A from them, you know, and, and, and interview them and do that. So there's a whole bunch of ways you can do that to grow your authority. You got to think about it like this. What can I do to show my expertise? What can I do to separate me from, from everybody else that's out there? And to do this properly, there is obviously bigger processes to do this, but I'm trying to give you a couple of tips that I can on a Sunday to be able to do this to begin with. So what my tips would be, know the value of your, I think here's the biggest tip I can give your own personal brand. Really understand the value in what your personal brand can be because we spend a lot of our time growing our company brands because we know we can market, we can sell, we can make revenue, all that kind of stuff. But it's sometimes when you don't realize what a personal brand can be and do, you 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 kind of don't prioritize it, right? You know, you kind of go, okay, one day I'll get around to it. One day I'm going to get a website and one day I might, you know, get some video, videos or photos or whatever. But the reality is that this is going to be with you forever and it's going to affect and permeate everything else that you do in your empire. Literally everything else you do in your empire is, is going to come from it. If I was to talk about uh, the, the, you know, the empire and how far your multiple businesses can stretch and what it can mean for you. If I was to talk about that for you today, let me tell you something. It, it would be the heart and soul of your empire because it becomes, it becomes the bigger and better and stronger that you become with the message that you have, the easier it is going to be for you to be able to grow multiple businesses, right? So, so this authority is A, authority and expertise. That's really about understanding how can you, how can you separate yourself from everybody else? How can you be seen as an expert? And here's the thing I always say. Experts get paid expert fees, right? Experts get paid expert fees. When you walk into uh, a doctor surgery and you see all of these, you know, awards and everything on the wall, doctor walks out in a white coat with the, you know, the stethoscope hanging on the neck, you go, what do you do? You go, oh, okay, right, this person, right, this person is uh, an authority, this person knows what they're doing. So when they say, hey, listen, for you to get, X surgery or for you to be able to get X treatment, it's going to be, you know, X, 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 X price. You kind of go, okay, well, you know, if it needs to happen, this is the person, this is the expert. Whereas if you walk in somewhere and there's shitty old magazines, right? And there is no plaques on the wall and there is no, you know, look of expertise and authority, then you don't feel that sense of of trust and comfort in that person because maybe they don't know what they're talking about. I don't know, but I can't um I, I, I don't I can't see their authority, I can't see their expertise. So I think that we've got to work on that within our personal brand. We've got to think about that and say, okay, how can we separate ourselves from everybody else? What have you done? What are the things you what have you done previously uh, that you can you can start to showcase? And really how can you start to separate yourself from everybody else, right? That's that's where I'd begin. That's where I'd begin. I think what I'll do over the next couple of mornings, I want to go deeper into this for you because I think it's such an important thing to an essential to central to an empire. If you just want to grow a one business business, yeah, it's good to have. And I'm still going to encourage to have it, right? Because I think it's really beneficial. But the minute you say, I want to have an empire, 
the minute you say, I want to have an empire, you, 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 you don't have a choice, I think, but to have a personal brand because you're going to have to use that to be able to leverage off multiple businesses and creating multiple income streams. So that's what I would say. I think that you need to say, okay, how am I standing out as an expertise in my, with my expertise? And how am I being perceived as an authority in what I do? And then you can do the same thing for a company. It's the same thing for your business. Is my business seen as an expert? I mean, do you have a company that literally just goes out there and says, um, here's what we do. We sell X, you know, or are you, you know, are you a, a building company that says, let me teach you about the seven things you need to learn about, the seven things you need to know before you accept a builder's guarantee? What are those seven things? Here's what they are. Bang, 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 bang. Now, by the way, in our company, we do those seven things with our builder's guarantee. So if you're interested in having a chat to us about doing a build, doing your build, then come and connect with us. You are creating expertise. You are creating authority by by going out there and, and, and being a part of the narrative of 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 the the industry and being and being being almost a customer champion at the same time showing people how to be successful so in your business you can do the same thing you can say what can i do to go out there and be pro customer right before the customer and help them with their decision making process and listen if you're out there being the being the people that are helping people make that right decision for their business uh, to be able to do business with you and your products and services, you're being perceived as an authority, right, in your company. It's the same thing as um, what you can use in your own personal brand. So remember your personal brand's with you forever. You can't get rid of it. It's you. You can't sell you off. You're going to be with you till the day you die. So my suggestions for you are to learn to love your personal brand, um, get over the bullshit that's holding you back from saying, uh, you know, I'm going to go out there and start to create something and, uh, and, and, and know that you've got something to share, you know, know that you've got something to share. That's a critical part. So export to expertise. How are you being perceived as an expert? Are you being seen as authority? Do you have your own dot com? Do you have your own social handles? And, and, and do you have some kind of, you know, plan of how you're going to get out there and create content for people? And again, this is a big topic around it, but I'm just going to tell you now, go and create content. How and why and where and all that kind of stuff. That's a much, much, much bigger discussion um, that, I, that I, I, I spend a lot of time with my students talking about. Um, but for the, for the purposes of this, content, uh, websites, uh, build your expertise, building your authority, and taking those same lessons and, and, and implanting them into the way you do your own uh, company branding. Make sense? Does that make sense to you? Let me know if that makes sense to you guys as well. So my encouragement is for everyone to go out there and build their own personal brand, right? And don't look at others and go, oh my gosh, you know, you know, he's got, you know, 2,000 followers and she's got 5,000 followers and they've got a million followers or whatever. You have to start from the beginning and build it, right? You've got to start from the beginning and build it. My very first personal brand, I think video or whatever I ever did was like... 13 years ago, before it was even fashionable and fun. And you know what? I was one of the last, I wasn't one of the last, but I was late to joining, you know, Facebooks and all that kind of stuff. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't doing a lot on that, you know, and I left it for a long time. So you know, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to say, well, I've missed the boat on social. You just need to start doing it. You just need to start doing it. And so I'm going to dedicate some time to it. I promise you this, you would dedicate time to it if you had, if there was, if you felt there was an ROI. Every one of you dedicates time to eating food every day because if you don't, you'll die. You dedicate time to drinking because you, you don't, you'll die. If you don't drink water, you'll die. Uh, for some of you, if you don't drink alcohol in lockdown, you'll die, right? Joke, but don't drink too much alcohol, right? Um, but, I, but, but what it is, is if you, if, you knew, if you knew how important this was, I think that you would spend a lot more time uh, focusing on this because you see the, the, the because of the benefit. But here's the biggest challenge about uh, about uh, here is the biggest challenge around personal brands. It is delayed gratification. That's the problem. It is delayed gratification. 
And because it's delayed gratification, a lot of people aren't prepared to put in the work to be able to do that, right? I've been doing it for 12 years and it's a slow going to begin with, let me tell you. And it wasn't as easy as it is now. There wasn't, you, when I first started, you could even pay to advertise stuff for you. It was just literally just, that's it. Some people will see it, some people won't. This is even before pages. You gotta remember when um, Facebook first came out, it was profiles. I even remember when they first, they changed it to the whole scrolling from what it used to be, right? Then they had the sold side scrolling for a while. Some of you guys remember that, but you need to. You need to. I mean, it's 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 a no-brainer. It's going to be with you. And yes, you can make money in business, but once you sell out of your brand, your business, if you started to, if you want to start another company after you sold out of that brand, then what? Hey, I'm the person that used to own a company that was successful. Good on you, right? What's that next thing you need to do? And you've got stuff to share. You've got, gosh, you've got stuff to share. You know, every one of us has to step up and be a leader. You can't just be on a couple of us. Every one of us has a chance to step up and be a leader and to share what you know. Uh, whatever it may be. And and even if you want to do this purely from a commercial sense and just build a brand to be able to affect your business, cool, do that. Build a brand to affect your business. No problem. Do that. You can. Um, but if uh, if you do want to think about your business uh, yourself as a business, then who knows, you might be able to be, use that to create a lot of commercial opportunities for you as well. Does that make sense, everybody? Cool. Questions. Let's go. Tomorrow, I'll dive into a couple more lessons around personal brand and branding, huh? But today was about, A, authority expertise. What you got? <laughs> Good, 35 followers and growing. Don't worry. It takes a while. You just didn't eventually just keep doubling. You'll double to 70, then you'll double and double and double and double and double and double. You keep. You know you're doing the right thing when you just keep doubling every month. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah, it's huge, VJ, personal brand, huge. I mean, you closed like a, I don't know, I'm, you even closed a big deal recently just on that personal brand. That and that and, that and following exactly what I told you to do on your pitch deck, right? Pitch deck, personal brand, bang, close the deal. Love it. Yeah, Nick, get your shit together, buddy. How many times do I have to say the same fucking thing? I love you, by the way. Questions, my team watching daily, ask if they should create their own personal brand. Yeah, I actually, I don't really care if team have their own personal brand. I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, let's talk openly. The biggest challenge people have is if they create a personal brand, you know, then they're going to go into competition. It's called, you know, it's, it's, it's called a non-compete. It's called a contract. I mean, if you have a team member that joins you and they grow their own personal brand, it's a contract. They can't go out there and do the exact same thing they're doing for, for somebody else, uh, for themselves they're doing for you you've got a contract. So let's talk openly. That's one of the biggest concerns people have about uh, about getting their team to have personal brands. So go for it. I have no issue people have personal brands. If they go against their legally binding contract, then then there will be an issue. That's how I see it. Yeah, totally, Boris. Massive. (laughs) What are my three favorite books? That's too hard. Don't ask me that. This is, I mean, I have, this is one library. Oh my gosh. Actually, that's, see those ones there? Those are un, untidy ones. They're all kids' books. There. I was going to say human books. But this is the kids' books. Can I tell everyone, that even if you don't have a kid, you've got to read some of these books. This is one of my favorite books. <laughs> if you have kids then you're saying that is a wicked book. There's a whole series of them. That's a great book. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Uh, there's too many. There's too many. I love Richard Branson's Business Strip Bear because I just remember reading on a holiday, you know, like a decade ago and it really helped catapult me, my thinking on something. Um, oh, it's too many. There's just too many. I mean, there's just too many. There's just too many good ones. I can't choose three. I can't choose three. I've got library. I've got two. I've got four libraries. I've got in each one of my offices, uh, th- th- all three offices, the ones at home. Yeah, it's just too many. I can't answer that question. <laughs> it's just too many. Right now I'm reading a book called The Kremlin School of Negotiation. You know, that's a great book. Um, I'm reading one on teams by um, by um, Sam- Sandberg, uh, Facebook. Um, I'm reading one on... I read a couple at the same time. I don't really finish one book and then start again, by the way. 
Love it. Closing on Thursday for $230,000. Boom. Yasmin. Love that. Look at you crushing it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, kids are humans. They're little humans. Little kids, huh? If you've got kids, what's it? Hey, listen. Nick, if you've not read this book, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Look at you. Look at you. You're fucking detail. They don't have any hands. This is a great book. I want to read a book to you guys. Actually, I've got a book I'm going to read to you guys one of these mornings. You need to read it. It's a great book. I've got a book I'm going to read to you these mornings. It's not about pigeon driving bus, though. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right, legends, go kick some butt. Um, hey, we're gonna let's do more on personal brand tomorrow. Let's talk more about um, the other parts of personal brand. We'll go deeper in it as well. Yep, done. Let's do that. All right, legends, you guys have amazing Sunday. Speaking of children, I have to go make some pancakes because they're waiting. Time for me to go and crush it. Crush pancakes. Crush pancakes. I could have a whole personal brand just on fucking pancakes. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. No one can compete on my pancakes. In fact, if you do make pancakes on a Sunday, go ahead and, and, and send me some photos just so we can compare competition on that, right? Let's do that. <laughs> Much love, guys. Go kick some butt, and I'll see you tomorrow morning for another part of uh, another stand together. And let's go deeper on personal brand until. All right, guys, we've got to have an amazing Sunday. Bye.